In this video, we will discuss the problem minimum sum formed by the digits. So the problem says that we will be given an, given an array of digits uh, where the digits are from 0 to 9 and we have to find the minimum possible sum of two numbers formed from these digits and all the digits of the array must be used. So let us quickly take this example and see what the problem says. So suppose if this example has been given to us, like the example is 6, 8, then we have been given 4, we have been given 5, then 2 and then 3. So we have been given an array which consists of these numbers and what we have to do is we have to find the minimum sum. First of all what we have to do is we have to make two numbers out of this array and then we have to do what? We have to return that particular minimum sum. So if I can find the minimum number, so the minimum number will be nothing but 2, 3. So I'll say do what? I'll first of all take this 2, then I'll use this 3 in, in the next number because I want to keep both the numbers as minimum. Then I'll use this 4 in this number. Then what we will do is we'll use this 5. Then what we can say is we can use this 6. Right? Then we'll use this 8. If we add these uh, numbers up, so what do we get? Uh, if we add this, so this will be 4, then this will be 0, then this will be 6. So I think that the answer will be 604 and we can see that the answer is 604 for this case, right? So the observation that we can make is that if we want to make both the digits as minimum, so we'll always be taking the lesser value first of all while building the number, okay? So in the numbers, in the starting part of the number, we'll always have the smaller values and then gradually we'll distribute the larger values as well, okay? So for this, what we can first of all do is we can simply sort the array. So if we sort the array, given array, then the array would look like 2, then 3, then it would be uh, 4, then 5, then 6, and then 8. After this, we'll declare two numbers, let's say a is equal to 0, and we'll also declare another number, p is equal to 0, then we'll iterate. So, let's say if we talk about the indexes, so this will be index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, and index 5. So, what we can say here is that if we are at the even indexes, then maybe we can distribute it to a, Otherwise, we can distribute that particular digit to B, okay? So, what we will do here is, we will say that if we are at this 2, so A will be nothing but A into, uh, A will be nothing but A, like A into 10 plus the current array of I, okay? If, uh, suppose I is, I mod 2 is equal equal to 0, if I is even, okay? Else, if I is not even, then B will be nothing but B into 10 plus array of I, okay? So, we will multiply this. So let's see initially a is 0, so 0 into 10 will be 0 plus plus array of i, so a becomes 2, right? After this b, so b is nothing but 0 into 10 plus uh, 3, okay? So that will be nothing but 3 only, so we'll update it to 3, then I move to this 4, when I move to this 4, so what will happen? So a into 10, so that will be 20 plus 4, so the number would become 24, so a becomes 24. Similarly, uh, when I move forward, when I move to this 5, so B will be what? B will be nothing but uh, 30 plus 5. So it will become 35. So now A and B get updated to 24 and 35 respectively. So A gets updated to 24, B gets updated to 35. After this, what happens is, after this, I move to this B, uh, like 6. When I move to this 6, so it will be distributed to A. So that will be nothing but 240 plus 6. That will be nothing but 246. And then uh, if I talk about this 8, so 350 plus 8 will be nothing but 358. So what we'll get is we'll get the number A as 246 and we get 4, then 1, then we get here 0 and 6. So we'll return the sum after computing it. So since we are doing the sorting part, since we are uh, sorting the array, so the time complexity order of, of our algorithm will be nothing but order of n log n and the space complexity would be order of 1 because we are not using any extra space. Let us try and write the code for this approach. So what we'll be doing here is we'll have, uh, first of all, we'll have uh, sort the array as sorted so we'll sort arr comma arr plus n first of all we'll sort the array then we'll declare two numbers like int a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 after this is done so what we'll do is we'll iterate uh, throughout the array uh, from for i starts from 0 i is less than n and i plus plus then what will happen is if i mod 2 is equal equal to 0 if i is even then we'll distribute that particular digit to a so a is equal to a into 10 plus the current digit RFI, okay? Else, if uh, the i value is odd, then we'll distribute that particular digit to b. So, b is equal to b into 10 plus RFI. The reason why we are doing this is because we want to keep both the numbers as minimum as possible. In the end, we can simply return a plus b. Okay, that is what we will do. Let us try and compile this code. 
it works on the samples let us quickly submit this as well okay it does not work on the samples okay i should take it as long long int the numbers can be very large so i'll take it as long long int now it will work so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases and in case if you understood the explanation so make sure to hit the like button and comment down understood as well thank you